Hey everyone, this is Brooke Britton, your registered dietitian with the DHEC SNAP Ed program. And here we are again for another fun and exciting lesson. So this is lesson eight, and it is all about physical activity and exercising. So first, let's do a quick review on what all we've talked about so far. So you guys have learned a lot about this. That is your my plate, and we've learned that half of our plate should be covered with those fruits and vegetables. That way we get tons of nutrition. We get the vitamins, the minerals, the fiber, all of that good stuff. We also learned we need lots of whole grains, especially. We need some grains, but we want a lot of them to be whole grains, like that brown rice and wheat bread and whole grain pastas. We also learned about protein and that it came from an animal and a plant. And that we do wanna do leaner sources of protein, like your fish, your chicken, your turkey and also the right amount of it. And then the last group that we were learning about was dairy. So don't forget that you need dairy for calcium, good for your bones and for your teeth. Just make sure to choose lower fat products. And the other thing was the sugar. Don't forget that. We talked about flavored milks like strawberry and chocolate having more sugar. And also to your yogurts. If they're strawberry peach flavored, they're gonna have more sugar too. So just be careful of that. But the other big part, we know we gotta eat good, but what else do you need to do? So how many of you like to go outside? I do. What do you guys like to do when you go outside? Those are some great answers. You might wanna run, play tag. Um, some of you like to throw balls and do different sports, right? So this is all physical activity. So everybody say physical activity with me. Physical activity with me. Physical activity, that's a big word, isn't it? So physical activity is any movement of your body that uses energy from food. So what would be some examples? Maybe doing push-ups or gardening, doing yoga, walking, climbing stairs, dancing, playing sports, all of those things would be examples of physical activity. So what else do we wanna talk about? Who knows what screen time is? Yep, you guys are right. It's the time spent watching TV, playing video games, playing on your computer, watching movies, that's all screen time. So think back, remember that movie we watched with Hugo and Chloe taking charge of Meadowland? So did Hugo watch a lot of TV? Yes, he did, you're right. And how many of you all like to watch TV? Yep, I do too. So we got to be careful with that. We do need to limit it to probably one to two hours max per day. Because what happens if I'm doing too much screen time, if I'm sitting playing too many video games, watching too many shows, playing on the computer, I'm not moving around as much as I should. And we need that. So how much physical activity do you think we need? Yep, we need 60 minutes or more every day. So do you think you get enough? Are you getting that 60 minutes or more? You need at least an hour? I hope you are. So how many of you have muscles? Anybody got muscles? All right, everybody flex your muscles for me. All right, so where do you have them at? Typically you have your muscles in your arms, your legs, and your stomach. But what about your heart? Everybody has a heart, right? Yep, feel that. Did you know it's a muscle too? And when you do physical activity, what happens? You're, you'll feel your heart pumping harder, right? You'll feel it just bumping and bumping. That means it's pushing blood through your body. And when your blood is flowing, what also happens? It's pushing those vitamins and minerals, all those nutrients through your body so your body can use them. So why do we like physical activity? What does it do for you? Anybody know? Why do we need physical activity? I heard some great answers. It makes you feel good, right? Gives you those strong muscles and bones. It also could be helpful for your weight. What about, would you be healthier? I'll bet you wouldn't be as sick if you were getting enough exercise and physical activity. And what about your heart? Yeah, it'll give you good, build a strong heart. And what else helps you to breathe? Your lungs, that's right. It also, what else do we need exercise for? It gives you energy. So think about Hugo, remember the movie? So what happened to Hugo? At the end of the movie, what was he doing? You got it. He was running, playing, and exercising. And he was eating the right foods and he felt so much better. So think about that. What you put in your body definitely makes a difference. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this series of lessons. You guys have learned so much. 
And I hope you use what we've taught you. Make some good choices, pick some healthy foods and get some exercise. All right, till next time. Bye, you guys.